Hey, True Believers England team here, the homegrown tourists. We are gonna go into the grill, the NBC Sports Grill and Brew, whatever, and uh, have some lunch here. We're just out at Universal having a good day. I thought we were just gonna go in, but Gail has to check out the menu first. All right, so Gail looked at the menu and thought, there she is, and thought, okay, it's cool, let's go in. So here we go. Right. Hey, how you doing, Brianna? Or Peach Key. Howdy, doing well, man. Yeah. All right. It says right here the host stand is this way. We came in the wrong way, I guess. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the appropriate way they want you to go into. We stuck in the side. It smells awesome in here. That is a beautiful thing. Right there. Alright, here's the menu. I don't know, are you feeling an app right now? Do you want an app appetizer of some sort, sir? Um, okay, we've got some salads, some burgers, he explained, the sides. Oh, here's the drink. I had him read off the drinks and they're right at the bottom. I didn't see it. Uh, and then you've got stuff like their steak and their barbecue stuff. Looks pretty good. Actually, there's not a lot that looks bad here. This bang bang chicken looks interesting. It's a Thai dish. And then, of course, you got some sandwiches. I, however, that smokestack is really sounding Sweet good. Sweet tea to this gentleman. All righty, cool, cool, cool. Oh, um, for an FYI, I am allergic to raw onion. Okay, we'll get a chef yeah. over here to discuss what we can have for you. Okay? Okie dokie. Cool, right, cool, cool. Sure. Thank you, thank you. And it's bustling, and we got a shot of the grill right here, and that man is cooking. And at times, the grease hits that fire, and it just explodes. You got an open kitchen, so you can see everybody doing their thing. Say hello. <laughs> and that is our waiter. And if you want, you can watch the game. I wonder if uh, we can have them turn it over to a Marvel movie or something. I don't know. It looks like a Little League game going on right here. Yep, there's a Little League. Alrighty, we're going to see some Bad News Bears. Alrighty, rock on. What are you thinking of? Look at how big this thing is. That looks like that smokestack. What are you thinking of here? Are you thinking of getting the smokestack? Okay, I am looking at either the smokestack or the bang bang chicken, which is the Thai thing, or okay. this pulled pork thing. That's what I was looking at. But My uh, head chef. Hey, how are hey. you doing, sir? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. okay so we have a gluten allergy? No, this one is the... Maybe. We're checking on that one because I find when I eat bread and everything, I'm getting heartburn. But onions will make me paint this restaurant white Okay. immediately. It's uh, it's more of an aversion. I tell people an allergy because a lot of times it's like aversion. Oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. Um, now, is it raw onion or all onion? It's powder? raw onion. Like uh, Even if it's okay. cooked in chili, if it's been reduced for like a day, I can have some. I can't have too much. Yeah. But I can have some, uh, then it starts making me sick if I have because too much. onion is uh, kind of universal, we use a lot. Yeah. Of, uh, but it's mostly onion powder and things like that. Onion powder doesn't bother me at all. It's in our prep kitchen, so I want to make sure. But raw onion, I'll make sure that yeah. we don't put any in your. Basically, I try to stay away from just onions, shallots, the, sure. you know, the whole whole nine. Yes, we cook yep. the shallots a lot, but we can also, with our sauteed items, we can omit the shallots from the recipe. Uh -huh. And then maybe just the onion powder will be in the, like the sauce. Yeah, that's like that's that. what that we use. Yeah. Things like that you want to stay away from is the coleslaw, things like that, because we have raw onion in the coleslaw. Okay. Um, but What were you thinking about having? So maybe I uh, the the smokestack looks good to me uh, with the, uh, okay. with the, the jalapenos. Uh, replacing the onions for flavor? Yeah, sure. That, you want the raw or you want fried jalapenos? The fried jalapenos would Excellent. probably yeah, we'll add a little that. texture to it, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Smoke, smokehouse stack. Uh, no caramelized onions. Add now you said, yes, no caramelized onions. I add fried jalapeno. Now, 
question. Did you want that on a gluten-free bun? We could do that. Let's do that. If it's possible, yeah, because yeah, I would love, yeah. Cause we have gluten-free buns available. Mm -hmm. and we toast Is it any stuff. extra charge or? No, sir. Okay, cool, cool. It's just a substitution. All right, cool, cool, but cool. If, it, if it'll make it, you know, be a little bit happier, then we can do it. Hey, it's, uh, <laughs> we haven't tested it yet. But we're kind of figuring because after I eat donuts or cookies or anything bread, right. I can't have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich anymore. Okay. It's the one well, part of my then body then that's really turning on me. Into. After I fed this stomach, you would think it would take care of me. I made it big like this, and uh, it's turning on me. Um, how about adding on the co the grilled corn as well? I think yeah, and corn you have no problem with that would do us. I think that'll be fine. All right. Any other allergies at the table? Not this one over there, though. There's another there you go. Okay. But anyway, thank you very much, man. No, Seriously. No. Give me one second. I need to go check out something out here. Okay. Okay. Gail's getting on to me because I was talking to everybody. Uh, I do that a lot. But um, I wanted to show what I have to go through every time we go to one of these restaurants. Disney didn't listen so many times. Um, every time. There was a Mama Melrose, what was it, like three or four times? We went to, we, we said, okay, we can't, I can't have onions. They brought the tray, there's onions all over it. I really can't, I wasn't joking, I can't have onions. And then they bring it and it's only got a few onions on it. What are you not getting this? Oh, they bring the entree and it's got onions. Yeah, and then they brought the onions, yeah. So we are joking about that. And a lot of times people don't realize that shallots, green onions, leeks are all part of the onion family. And there have been times where it's not listed on the menu, so I'll just scoop right on in there, shove a big old mouthful of uh, death into my mouth, and then end up puking in the bathroom. That's like, hey, we got a free steak dinner, though, once out of Longhorn for doing that to us. So, yeah, that's what happens. Um, but it doesn't feel very good, and it makes for a horrible night. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody out, two exits. It's not very fun at all. Anyway, but that's what usually happens with the uh, chef coming out the whole nine yards. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so Gail got this simple burger, and it literally is a simple burger. Cheese, a hamburger, um, lettuce, tomato. She's putting ketchup on it. She got a side of mashed potatoes because that's the way she rolls. It looks very simple. Um, I, on the other hand, got the, uh, what was this called? The smokehouse smokestack? with a side of the jalapenos to take the place of the onions and uh, a side of grilled corn because it just sounded really good. So it looks awesome. It looks like one of those big, you can't put your mouth over it things. And uh, we're gonna give this a try and uh, we'll give a little review about it. Nope, oh, Gail just took a bite, how's it taste? She's saying burr, 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 burr. thumbs up. All righty. Alrighty, now this is it with its clothes off. It is, it's, this is gonna be a messy burger. There's no way this is not gonna be a messy burger. I do not see any onions though, and that's very important. Hopefully there's none hidden. And they did bring, cause they forgot to bring the barbecue sauce, but he just brought this out. So that's the complete picture right there. All right, so here's a little flaw in the cloth of the NBC cafe. What is this, a bar and grill, NBC grill? The flaw in the cloth is we have to go upstairs to use the restroom. If you need to rest, this is it. That's the only one right there for the entire restaurant. So anyway, we come over here though, and right up top you get this great view of the kitchen and what they're doing down there. And the cool thing is, is we have just finished now I got the smokestack burger, and I gotta tell you, I sat down, they gave me uh, a side of the barbecue sauce, they gave me some jalapeno chips rather than the caramelized onions, I bit into it, everything tasted good. You saw when we walked in, uh, the flames and how they were grilling those burgers, they look good, you see it all down there, it's awesome. She's feeding the buns, getting them all toasted. It was really, really good. I, I enjoyed it. it. had a smoky flavor. The cheese on it was Gruyere. And I usually hate cheese on my burger because it makes everything taste like cheese. Because it melts in. But this was its own element. And I, I just dug that. They gave me a, uh, what do you call that? Gluten-free? Gluten-free bun. And it was made of potatoes. 
it started falling apart so I just ate it with a fork and it really did uh, feel like I was just eating this barbecue dinner over potatoes it was very good it was uh, $15.95 and uh, I would recommend it what about you Gail you had the simple burger yeah which was literally just a regular hamburger right yeah American it was cheese good. cooked well oh yeah how did it taste um, I like grilled burgers and it was good. It was grilled taste. I got cheddar on mine. Mm -hmm. And then lettuce and tomato. Simple. Was it fresh? Did it, the ingredients feel fresh? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And did the cheese overpower the rest of the burger? Nope. No? But That's very good. important. It, yep. It, and how much was yours? $13.95. $13.95? So there you go. So would you come back to the NBC Grill? For a burger, yes. For a burger? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I would try that banging chicken. I know it's a Thai recipe and they're kind of got a, a grilled thing here. But I might try that bang bang chicken or whatever they call it. But there's so much to try and it was good. And I would recommend it too. I would recommend coming in. Oh, and Philip, uh, who's actually right down there, was our server and he was spot on. Really good guys. Uh, every, everybody was really kind and uh, just very excitable. I mentioned the onion allergy, and as you can see, they sent out a chef, and he talked to us about everything, and uh, done very well. I feel like we were well taken care of here. It was definitely worth the money. The bill it, with the drinks, now drinks is something we talk about. Yeah, $4 for a Coke. It was $4 for a Coke, $4 for the iced tea that I got. We're talking about maybe we're just going to go water from here on in when we go to these restaurants. Cause that's outrageous anyway there you go that's the nbc disney, started that. disney yeah disney's expensive as hell too but there that's the uh nbc grill and brew and uh definitely gets a thumbs up from us so there you go guys that was our review of the nbc brew and grill also you got to see what i go through and me uh, what I got to go through anytime I sit down at one of these restaurants. Now, if they do it right, they bring out the chef or somebody will actually talk. Sometimes they don't, and I think that's a big mistake. Anyway, have you ever been through that? Do you have allergies? Let me know in the comments below. What did you think of what you saw? By all means, once again, in the comments, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't done it already because... That's what YouTube cares about whenever they care at all, really, about uh, about a YouTube channel. We do have a Patreon and a Ko-Fi. If you don't mind helping out the channel financially, go on over. Links in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep our lights on and helps keep making videos for you. like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.